This is the Paxton Novi 2200 SI Supercharger Tuner Kit in satin for the 2011 to 2014 GT Mustang. You're gonna wanna check out this kit if you're looking for a Paxton setup that'll give you room to grow and customize. Buying a tuner kit instead of a complete kit is a good idea for a few reasons. You could be looking for big power, bigger power than the components in the complete kit can get you. The tuner kit does not come with fuel components or a calibration. That means you can pick up whatever fuel support items you need to get you to your power goals and you can custom tune the car for more horsepower. You also could have a vehicle that already has some modifications in which case you might want to pick the tuner kit over the complete kit. And going with the tuner kit will save you a few bucks over the complete kit. The install for a kit like this is a full three out of three wrenches in the difficulty meter. You can expect to spend a weekend in the garage getting this installed. In the world of superchargers, you have two options. You can go with a root style blower or a centrifugal supercharger. They are two very different styles of forced induction. This kit includes a centrifugal supercharger, which is a compressor. It compresses the air. A root style blower doesn't do this. Simply speaking, it's an air mover, not a compressor. You're gonna get a different power curve with a root style versus centrifugal blower. A root style tends to build more boost than lower RPMs than centrifugals do, but centrifugals are more efficient with high boost numbers and they don't battle heat soak like a root style does. So just know that before you make your decision on what's right for your build, there are pros and cons to each type of setup. When you order the tuner kit, you'll have almost everything you need to get the car up and running. The only thing that you will need to pick up for yourself are your fuel system items and your tune. Whether you're looking at just a set of injectors or a boosted pump or maybe even a fuel pump, it's gonna be up to you to determine what you'll need to get your build to the power range that you want. And don't forget, you will need to work out a custom dyno tune for yourself too. Paxton advertises that this kit has the ability to make up to a thousand horsepower as long as you have the tune and fuel to support that, so you have a lot of room here to get higher horsepower numbers. Breaking this kit down a little bit, and I don't have everything on the table here with me, only the important parts, but you're looking at the Novi 2200 SL compressor with a 3.8 inch drive pulley. You'll get an air inlet assembly, replacement cooling pipes and hose assemblies, a new coolant reservoir, your billet aluminum and steel mounting bracket assembly, which includes idlers, drive belt, and all of your hardware, and the mount features a multiple position idler location for a wide range of belt and pulley fits, which leaves you that room to grow. Of course, you'll get your discharge components too, so your air-to-air -air intercooler, which is a 24 by 13 by three and a half inch core, three inch aluminum charge tubes, stainless steel clamps, your silicone sleeve, a 98 millimeter mass airflow housing configured for blow through use with an integrated air straightener that'll sit upstream of the MAF, and a Paxton Maxflow race bypass and valve configured for blow through use with an integrated air straightener that'll sit upstream of the mass airflow and a Paxton Maxflow race bypass valve with a filter. Paxton does say that their kit is for manual Mustangs only, but that is referring to the complete kit. The complete kit will come with a calibration for manual Mustangs only. They're still developing their automatic tune at this time, but this is the tuner kit, so it doesn't come with a calibration and you don't have to worry about your transmission in this case. You're gonna be getting a custom dyno tune from an outside tuner anyway. The parts in this kit will still fit the car, manual or automatic. When it comes to price, you're looking at spending a touch over 5,100 bucks for this kit. That saves you a couple bucks over the complete kit, which is just over $6,100. Paxton offers different finishes for their head units too. You can pick up a polished finish or a black finish, along with the satin finish that you see here. Install wise, this is gonna be a three out of three wrenches in the difficulty meter, and you can plan on spending a weekend in the garage getting this installed. I wouldn't say that this is for the first time wrencher, but more for someone that has some experience. You're gonna need your toolbox to get this done, and of course, a lift would make things easier, but you can do the job with a jack and jack stand. Keep in mind that you will need a new set of spark plugs gapped correctly in order to tie everything together. That's gonna cover things for the Paxton Novi Tuner Kit for the 2011 to 2014 GT Mustang. As always, you can check it out more online right here at americamuscle.com.